What's up guys? Today is Friday and it is my loo day which means I'm able to record this during the daytime however the weather is so bad outside that the natural light is really really poor. I have tried to record this vlog five, yes five times today and in pretty much every attempt either the camera hasn't recorded, the lighting has been poor as in the last video you couldn't even see my face or someone has knocked on the door and interrupted me and completely disturbed my flow. Now, I'm hoping you guys can relate to me. Do you guys have similar issues? Like now, is this is this even in focus? I'm hoping it is. I I have I have tried to focus it as best I can. So let's hope let's hope it is. Anyway, putting the boring stuff to one side. Today has been a really really productive day. I have sorted out my wardrobe, which is behind me, sort of that way behind me. Uh, sorted that out, got rid of four bags full of clothing. Four. Can you believe that? I didn't think I had any clothes. Who knew? Um, so I've done that. I've sorted the bags out, got rid of that. Also sorted my mountain of trainers out. Not that I had a mountain. I probably had about ten pairs. Now I have five pairs, which is better. Including one really cool pair of Joker and Batman Converse. Uh, really, really love those. Maybe I'll show them to you in a future video if anyone's interested. Let me know in the comments. Uh, other than that, I have spent the afternoon watching some... Well, catching up with some of my favourite YouTubers' videos. Uh, most notably, David DeFranco today, whose latest video, Five Tips for YouTubers, has really, really inspired me to record this vlog. I don't know if anyone would have noticed if you follow me on Twitter. I got a bit irritated earlier on because I have noticed it seems to be a trend with people disliking my videos and I don't know if it's the same person or persons but not long after uploading two thumbs down comments will appear on each video I've been keeping an eye on it and it does seem to be more or less the same time not at the same time every day but I'm guaranteed that if I click on a video there'll be a dislike on it so I'm sure this video will be exactly the same and it will prove my point uh, I just, oh my god, I really dislike the dislike button. I don't care if people are clicking it, that's fine, that's not my problem. You know, if you if you are that sad that you can't leave a comment or, or something, that, that is up to you. My point being, I really think YouTube needs to sort it out. If you click dislike, you can click it, but I think it should either leave your username so someone can see who it is that's disliked the video, or it should prompt you to leave a comment as to why you're clicking dislike, like a reason, be it constructive. Well, it, hopefully it would be constructive. You wouldn't want anything horrible being posted about you. No one does. Uh, but I just, I, I dislike it. It's so faceless. I don't have a problem with people having an opinion. That is fine. But leave an opinion as yourself. Don't hide behind either a, a username or a faceless dislike button. Don't hit and run, because that's kind of like what it is. I recorded a video a few months ago now um, about cyberbullying, uh, largely prompted by one of my favourite YouTubers who had experienced similar treatment on YouTube. Um, so I'm not going to go into that much more. Um, let me just rectify what I mean a little bit though. I don't mind people clicking dislike, in fact I'm not actually that bothered if people click dislike on my videos. But it's because it is becoming apparent that it's it's following too much of a pattern for it to be just random people hitting dislike. It's always two thumbs downs and it's always appearing around the same time. So that's why I think it's it's a particular person or persons doing it. Um, it's, everyone has an opinion, that's fine, but why not make it constructive? I have always thought, I've gone through my life thinking if you've got an opinion about something, that's fine, but A whatever you say to someone, say to their face directly, or in this case, leave a comment. You know, if you don't like the lighting in the video, say so. If you don't like the presenter, say so. If there's something you want comment, you know, something you want explained in more detail, let the person know. Maybe they can re-record, or maybe they can make a new video for you, or perhaps it will help them with future videos. Just leave a comment, let them know, you know, don't just hit the button and run off. That really irritates me. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry, I have just ranted for like two minutes on the issue of the dislike button. So, but as David DeFranco says, you know, never give up, never surrender. So there's no way that two thumbs downs on all my videos are going to stop me from recording by any stretch. But it does irritate me. Oh, I am sorry, that annoys me as well. The phone going off mid-video, should have put it on silent. 
note for, for myself for next time. I haven't really done a lot today. I've caught up on... What else did I watch? Oh, my mind's gone blank. Chris Perillo's latest video I watched as well. Really, really funny. I like, um, I really love watching his vlogs and ever since I've changed phone networks and I have unlimited data now, I can watch sort of YouTube on the uh, commute in the morning. So I, I tend to watch his latest uh, vlog with him and Diana up to their usual antics. It's, oh, they're so funny. I wish I could have a life like his. Who wouldn't, you know? So I've done that today. I think this evening I'm gonna catch up with the new season of American Horror Story. If you haven't heard of that, do check it out. Not for the faint-hearted faint or easily offended though, so do bear that in mind. But it's a great show. It's it's really, really different. It's um, It kind of pushes the, the boundaries on what is acceptable on television, but it, um, sorry, I've just put my phone on silent so it doesn't go off again. But it does it in a way that's really, really interesting. It, for me, it's unlike most things that are on television at the moment. It's almost like a horror film, but kind of like in a serialised format, which is really, really cool. Um, not to mention, the last two seasons have had Zachary Quinn in it, and it's just been really, really good. So do check that out if you are interested in, in shows like that. Um, I really want to start watching Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. as well. That's meant to be really, really good. Hopefully I'll get around to watching that at some point this weekend. And the Simpsons Treehouse of Horror episode that's just been released, I'll be checking that out as well. I have to work tomorrow, so that will mean loading my iPad up with cool videos to watch for the day. Whilst I'm answering my emails at work, of course, working at the same time. Sunday, not a lot going on that I know of. I'm not sure if I'm seeing Babbitt or not. Maybe, possibly, don't really know. We'll find out at some point. Um, so yeah, thank you to everyone who does leave positive comments on these videos. It really, really, really inspires me and makes me want to continue documenting my time. I mean, you know, what's nicer than logging on and seeing a positive comment on your video or someone actually asking you to record a video of something they'd like to see. It makes you feel valued and that it's that community aspect of the internet that I really, really like. It's why I use Twitter all the time. It's to an extent why I use Facebook. I'm not as big a fan of Facebook as I am of Twitter, especially, just going off on a slight tangent, since today I have found out that they have now removed the uh, option for you to make yourself unsearchable in the search bar uh, at the top. So if you were to, if someone were to search your name and your account was initially set for that not to happen, it will now happen. So that really annoys me because I do not want people that do not follow me or who I have authorised to look at my profile from looking at my stuff. So that will be something I'll be looking into. Um, so that side of Facebook I don't really like. I don't like 10,000 pictures of people's children being posted every five seconds or copious amounts of game requests which I, I have to block every day, you know, that kind of thing. Twitter is much better in that respect. It's microblogging, it's fast, it's kind of, you know, Twitter is more for meeting new free, new people, like-minded people and uh, building a community that way and building friendships. Facebook, I think, is for friendships that have already been forged, like people you know in real life, for example, you know, someone, a colleague you may know at work that you get on really well with may add you on Facebook, whereas someone who lives halfway around the world who has a similar interest in technology or YouTube, like vlogs, for example, you may only meet on Twitter. So that side I prefer to um, Facebook, you know, if, if I only stayed on Facebook, I'd probably only have friends in this country or, you know, a couple that may have moved away. But with Twitter, I have friends all around, all around the world, which is really, really cool. Um, so yeah, which do you prefer? Are you a Facebook fan? Are you a Twitter fan? Do you like them both equally? If so, why? Um, let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching this vlog. I hope I haven't rambled on too much and I hope you don't think I'm a bit crazy about this dislike button thing. Um, I just wanted to let you know my feelings really. Do keep watching my videos. If you if you do like them, give them a thumbs up as always. Uh, hit that like button. Like button? There isn't a like button. Hit, yes, thumbs up is a like. See, my brain is completely fried. Um, do hit that like button. Share my videos if you wouldn't mind. And also comment, leave me a comment or follow me on Twitter at Silken1987.
I also have a Facebook page, Devilishly Deviant, or if you haven't heard already, which I'm sure you have because I keep saying it in every video, I have a new website. It's www.devilishlydeviant.net and that's where you will find my blog, you will find app reviews, um, hopefully links to the YouTube videos when I get time to update it, uh, and a whole host of other content. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, as I've said before. See you all in the next one. Bye for now.